There's a revolution going on in personal golf transport, and Golf Skate Caddy is contributing. This is Golf Smarter. Welcome to the Golf Smarter Podcast, Patrick. Thanks, Fred. It's great to be here. It's great to have you here. Um, tell me about Golf Skate Caddy. Yeah, basically, we're coming in uh, from a technological standpoint uh, in the golf industry right now uh, by providing an innovative way to uh, ride around the golf course. What we're looking at here is a stand-up golf cart. Okay, okay. Now, we uh, had a conference here, uh, at, here at the ING conference yesterday. There was a conversation, panel conversation, about attracting millennials to the game of golf. And you were on the panel, and you had some really, really... Uh, valid and important points to make, but I see that your product really is directed at a younger generation uh, to try to attract new golfers. I think the perception is is that we are towards the younger, but believe it or not, our product is for all ages. Sure. Uh, as sure. an example, Greg Norman's uh, mother, who is 92 years old, and I have video to prove, she rides a golf skate caddy all the time. Really? And and we've so again the spectrum is is pretty wide. Uh, so so it's exciting to see that it don't matter if you're 12 or if you're 92, uh, you're gonna have a chance to have some fun on a golf skate caddy. Yeah, um, sure anybody can ride it of any age. The learning but, curve is about 60 seconds. Yeah, and, and anyone can do it. But there's still, it's going to be more attractive to a younger generation, would you? Precisely, okay. yes, yes, I think so. Um, you know, the, the product was developed just to add fun to the game. Mm -hmm. and, and, and obviously we've seen the, the reaction from the younger guys and girls that they, they like it a little bit more. But, sure. uh, you sure. know, I'm sure you're going to have a great time. I'm going to have a great time. So, so you can be out of demo day today. We'll be oh, able yeah, to see for it. Sure. Great. We'll I want get you some to take video it for a span. I'll get, I want to get some video of you writing. Oh, boy. Okay, <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, I, you know, the Golf Smarter community is familiar with uh, Golf Board. We've right. had them on the show multiple times. Um, we, I even got a chance to ride a prototype a year before they hit market because they're in Northern California, as am I. Um, so... I guess we can thank them for you, you know, being even seen in the community uh, because it's a similar category, but it's not, it's not the exact same product. Uh, no, it isn't. Please tell I mean, me the difference. It's between. the same category, which is the single rider category. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. a category that actually existed in golf, you know, 20, 30 years ago. It's just coming back now with better technology. Yeah. Really? There were single riders? There were single transports and ones and with no gas. Idea. And yeah, they, they never really took off. Cause yeah. Batteries back then were, right. you know, bigger than, than the player itself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it is the single rider category. Mm -hmm. And uh, Golf Board has done a good job in promoting the category. Uh, our product actually, we feel that it's 100% catered to golf. We've put together amenities to enhance the experience and to provide a perfect round of golf. So, for example, having the umbrella in case it gets rainy or in case it's too sunny out there. Having the seat in the back that you can take a break in between shots. Oh, you have a seat on yours as well. Yeah, and it uses the ground as a platform so the unit won't tip over. So it's not while you're riding, you're not sitting down, you're standing up. Correct. But when you're waiting your turn, you can rest on it. People that play with me, they wait a lot. <laughs> so we developed the seat so they stop complaining. Have a seat. Let me take my time. Uh, uh, furthermore, we have the built-in cooler in the back for some recreational beverages. Uh, USB charger so you stay connected at all times. Oh, with that's really Navigational tools, your mobile devices. Mm -hmm. We've got a cell phone holder, uh, universal, so any size so you can... Check your social media if you want to. You can check the news. You can do whatever the heck you, you want to do. Check your emails. Exactly. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Golf bag goes in the front, and we've got everything from ball holders, pivots, sand bucket, you know, drink holder, everything within reach. So the idea is to make it convenient, speed up the process a little bit, adding a new element of fun and excitement, and uh, also generating more revenue for to golf courses, and and that's a critical one as well. It's electric, not gas. Fully electric, we use a, a lithium-ion battery. Mm -hmm. Another element that stands out from our competitor is the fact that our battery is a larger battery pack. We've developed in a way so you can go up to 50 holes on a complete charge, thereby giving you much less downtime for a rental fleet sort of a co concept. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, Fred, I think safety to us, and a lot of times I get calls from golf courses and they're like, hey, 
we're interested in the golf ski caddy. How do we get started? And I say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's first make sure this is going to be 100% safe to your members. Let's make sure that the terrain is going to make sense. And actually, their reaction is like, whoa, I like that. You yeah, know, you, yeah. you care and you're, you're not, it's not all about the, the, the money in, the, in this particular case. And once we're able to make an assessment, identify that that's going to be a great course, then yes, we come in a full force. We roll out the red carpet. We give them a great experience. We add absolutely no pressure. And uh, me being the VP, believe it or not, I like to fly out to these golf courses course and visit them in person. And when they see me walking in, they're like, oh, my God, you're here? Mm. I'm like, yes, I am. How are you? <laughs> so, well, um, why is terrain an issue? Well, from a safety standpoint, we've got golf courses across the country that are very hilly. Yeah. And uh, I've played at a couple of courses in New Mexico that were like, you know, deadly. And uh, we feel that from a safety standpoint, that if they fall into that category of dangerous, that we actually try to avoid doing business with them. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, because I, I live in Northern California, and the, my, the course that I play most frequently has one hole that's level. Everything gotcha. else is you're going up, you're going down, you're yeah. going down and up, you're going yeah. up and over. Yeah. Uh, so so what we do, in, in if the golf course really wants to get involved, I- even though they're healing, which the golf the golf ski caddy was developed for heels. Okay. It's just that, you know, in, in Australia the legal system is a little bit different. Mm. Here in America, people can sue for, for, for any reason, and we're Oof. trying to avoid okay, any complications like that, plus the, the, the bad press in, in case somebody gets but hurt. But does it work on hills? Oh, is most it? definitely. You've okay. got two motors, one in the front and one in the back, oh. 2,000 uh, watts of power, brushless, very efficient, very reliable. Uh, so what happens is we've added a lot of software to, to keep it safe, uh, you know, going up and down hills. But we can also geofence it now. Oh, okay. We can also have certain areas that you should not ride. Sure. Uh, and we try to educate as much as we can. I mean, I don't like to say no to business, but if a not. golf course feels dangerous and the demographic isn't right, you know, the, the, the reality is to be brutally honest. The product isn't for everyone. Mm-hmm. And, and we talked about this before. You know, if, you're, if someone is deconditioned and in a little bit too much on the older side, don't, don't have enough balance even walking, why even try to, 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 to ride a golf ski caddy? Because here's the reality. There is, a, there is an element that is challenging. Sure. And many times our engineers talked about, oh, let's add a steering wheel. Let's add a pivot system. And we, we refuse. We want it to be a little bit challenging. We want it to be exciting, and we don't want to turn it into a wheelchair. So, <laughs> so that's that's where well, we are. Yeah. Going from the golf skate caddy to a wheelchair, right? So, your primary focus, your market focus, is fleets. Yeah, we are on a business-to-business component okay. right now. And so this uh, is not available to the average consumer? Actually, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah, the, okay. the primary business model is to be available in as many golf courses as we possibly mm-hmm. can. Mm-hmm. But I need players like yourself and like many others to develop top-of-mind brand awareness. Anytime an individual consumer purchases a unit, guess what? Now he's a marketing engine for my company. Sure, he's an ambassador. He's out there. Exactly. So we get a lot of calls on a daily basis of guys that just got to have it. And they don't care about the price because this is a commercial unit. And and they call in. We give them the price. And they're like, okay, ship me one. Here's my Amex. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, how do we find you on the web? Uh, Fred, uh, your viewers can go to golfskatecaddy.com for more information, or you can call us at 561-405-9542. Ask, for, pa- ask for Patrick. <laughs> hey, I got I to gotta give myself a plug here, okay? Right? <laughs> exactly. And I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. <laughs> oh, great. Patrick, thanks so much. My it's pleasure. really been fun being with you this week at IMG. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is the 2016 model available now for golf courses across the U.S., um, so many things that we can talk about, but number one, it's really adding a lot of fun to the game. As you can see, all you got to do is hop on this unit as if you're going to hop on a skateboard or on a uh, snowboard, and you're going to be leaning to steer uh, at all times. Some of the amenities that actually really stand out here is the fact that we've added a training bar right up here that allows first-time uh, you know, riders to have a little extra grip. Uh, it's operated by this remote control right here. It has a soft acceleration profile, so you pull the trigger, no matter how much you pull, you're always gonna take off nice and slowly. We've added automatic brakes when you're going downhill, so obviously safety, um, number one priority for sure. 
Now, we also want to see players connected, right? We want to see pay, uh, players being able to go online and do certain things. So we've added a uh, USB charger right here, which comes in very handy. My phone dies all the time. So we've also added a cell phone holder that goes right here. And uh, it's a universal one, so you can fit any type of, of uh, phone. You've got a scorecard holder right there, your drink holder right here, balls, pivots, sand bucket. Let's not forget for recreational beverages, nice little self-draining cooler here. They can put in some drinks. And uh, back here, this is actually a stationary seat that you can sit down and basically take a break in between shots or No, whatever. somebody cannot sit on that while it's moving, can they? No, no. The seat, Nor can you give anybody a ride on that. That's correct. Uh, I take my wife on it, but I don't, don't recommend it. Uh, but the seat is for stationary purposes for you to take a break in between shots. Awesome. Can I give it a shot? Can I give it a ride? Let's do it. All right, so uh, we're going to get you started on speed number two, just to be safe. One hand goes right there. Okay. You ready to do I'm this? I'm ready to go. Let's see what All happens. Right, let's go. Oh, we're moving. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah! This is pretty fun. I can see how this would be a lot of fun on a golf course. Really changes the game and takes your attention away from bad shots. How cool is that? Take your attention away from bad shots. Click on the link below to subscribe to our free weekly interviews on the Golf Smarter podcast at golfsmarter.com.